at <laughs> Uncle Tom's farm. Dooley farm guy here. And well, we had cash burning a hole in our proverbial or illusionary pocket, as it were. Um, and um, well, we filled a need that's been kind of wanting, mm, needing for a while. Um, we've been just uh, spraying weeds normally, just just pasting the, the, the herbicide just straight up over everything and it's been hurting our um, our environmental score. It's it's not the most environmentally friendly. If we can see here, zoom down uh, to our, uh, there's our numbers, there we go. There's our numbers. So if we take a look at our, the, uh, the weed control, that's the one that's been really, uh, really mostly hurting us. Yeah, third one down on these fields here because, well, we've been, We've been just smashing it on there. So, <clears throat> to solve that, uh, we have uh, stepped it up, uh, way up, <laughs> with uh, with the John Deere system here, with the see and spray system. Let's hop in. And, um, so, what does it do? Well, it spot sprays, and since it spot sprays, let's open her up. Um, we're all, we're going to use a whole lot less um, herbicide for one. Um, number two, this thing's going to well, it's way bigger. <laughs> it's huge. And three, it goes faster too. It goes pretty darn fast like really fast let's turn it on and let's watch it work oh yeah just squirting out the uh where the weeds are 20 miles an hour and um yeah so i know it costs us a pile of money but um and slightly awkward but it goes, uh, I mean, not that our other little one was that slow. <clears throat> it was pretty fast for a, uh, for a sprayer, 15 miles per hour. But this thing is, uh, in the long run, well, number one, going to give us uh, a, uh, a great, or well, give us a much better environmental score. It's going to save us money on herbicide, and it's going to get it done in a fraction of the time that uh, we did it previously. Now, having said all that, it is December, so this is kind of like our winter crop that we planted. And we'll be done this field in no time. Uh, with the worker going there, let's have a quick peek um, I still have to remember to come and clear the rocks after the after the harvest ne this year. Uh, I did purchase, finally did go ahead and purchase this pot of land, plot of land here. Uh, we've cl cleaned it up, and it's ready for um, ready to plant. We uh, had some corn. Uh, oh, corn was here, ready to harvest. Uh, got that off the field and mulched. So that's where you can see well, a little bit of leads. We missed a few spots with the plowing. Oh, well. Um, so money has been spent. Um, however, we do have, still have, well, we got sunflower and corn. That's going to be something, oh, February. So next, well, February. It's, it's a couple of months off for the sunflowers. Uh, sorghum, well, it's it. 35,000 liters of sorghum isn't, well, it's 35 grand, but it, at this point in the game, it's uh, not um, not a whole lot of money. Uh, we're kind of getting up into the bigger, obviously, larger equipment and things like thus, but um, we still, I still haven't decided um, 
what to do about cow barn or cow pen or cow pasture or barn or so yeah don't know what's exactly going on with that let's uh let's just get this this screen out of the way there we go um i'll just gonna take over this yeah so this thing's pretty sweet um it does have an option to uh um put a um a dry fertilizer or lime it does spread lime at some, some kind of ridiculous width at uh, 20 miles an hour too so um, although it does the lime doesn't happen all that often and uh you see i can hit it in the in the winter months when uh when really there isn't a whole lot going on like right now which i did do some lime spread some see the rocks i've been taking off the field remember if you remember i put up that uh, rock crushing lime production thing and it's been making more than enough lime for to sustain me to um keep my fields ph levels up to uh up to the proper uh ph levels so that's good um oh wool prices yeah let's uh see this is just so easy now oh very easy of course i can put a fertile a liquid fertilizer in here too um so it is it is um an option not that because uh, we do we do put um Uh, the planters and cedars we have have the fertilizer option there, so it's not something that we necessarily have to do. Uh, that's something we don't don't typically do unless maybe that the odd little strip that we run out of fertilizer or something like that. So let's set a worker off here. What was I gonna? What was I? oh yeah, so cow pens. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Uh, oh, uh, wool. Uh, let's uh, let him work. We've got quite a bit of wool piling up. Uh, quite a bit. It's going to be quite interesting. Oh yes, and I did. Uh, I did grab. Oh yeah, we got another one. As you can see, it's just kind of like piling up here, like crazy. Um, where is that trailer? Let's go. Where did I put that trailer? Oh, I picked up a, uh, no, this one. There we go. Uh, one of these uh, little handy dandy trailers. Uh, where did I put that? Kind of mark it on my GPS. Let's go grab that little trailer and load up some wool. Um, I think I left it. I dropped it off <laughs> at an odd place uh, when I got it. And um, kind of forgot it there. <laughs> um, so we're going to... we're gonna. Uh, I don't think the wool prices are... Good thing about Saskatchewan is there's a lots of straight roads, so let's set him off on a straight path, and uh, we can we just quickly look at our uh, <laughs> look at our phone while we're driving. Uh, wool, 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 wool. There it is. Wool prices in April. Okay, well, yeah, twenty one hundred bucks. We'll wait till April, but we still need to grab our trailer. There it is up there. No snow this year, which is a bit odd, but, um, you know, maybe this part of the country doesn't get a whole lot of snow. It's, uh, it's a thing. I don't know why this, uh, this old truck uh, don't, don't go as fast as it used to. Right, so here we go. 
coming up onto the uh, trailer. There she is, right where I abandoned her. Hopefully, hopefully this guy doesn't mind it. He's blocking his driveway. Come on, back it up. There we go. This old girl's getting tired. There we go. Well, I'll meet you back at the back. I'll meet you back up at the barn. Oh, should learn how to talk. <clears throat> All righty then. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, the great thing about this. Uh, this little uh, trailer is, uh, it comes with a whole bunch of invisible elves that load uh, load stuff for you. As you can see, they have, uh, they are very handy in, uh, in uh, instantly loading all this wool into this trailer for me. So handy dandy. We'll get it all loaded up in there. 95, 20,000 liters. But we'll just have to leave it there for now until our uh, price for uh, wool gets uh, favorable for us. Uh, let's see. How's our how's our animals doing? Uh, water's pretty good. Everything's good. They're they're all just happily. Producing wool like little the little sheepy animals they are. Uh, let's see here. We must have yes <laughs> gotten stuck, of course. Uh, how far has it gotten here? Let's look at my GPS PDA thingy. Uh, there we go. Uh, where's our weeds? Uh, there we go. Weeds. Oh yeah, one last little strip left, and oh, we still got those two. Oh, and that one. Ooh. Weeds have been busy. Busy little weeds, have they? <clears throat> All right, let's go. We'll finish this off, and then uh, I'll just go ahead and finish spraying the rest of the uh, fields there, and. Pretty much, aside from uh, used equipment, is pretty much bare. That's pretty much it. Um, I just kind of wanted to let you come in and see <clears throat> see the couple of things we've done and show off the new sprayer. Because uh, hopefully that's... Uh, I don't know if that's going to improve our score. Oh, look at that. It's improved our score like instantaneously 100 on that field that's awesome we should bump that one up pretty good 98 97 oh man i'm happy with that that's going to uh that's going to bump up our uh, crop sale bonus like tremendously hopefully anyways uh <laughs> saves us money on uh herbicide does it faster and um, bump set environmental score right up there. Fantastic. I wonder what uh, I should have checked the crop, our um, yield potential. Now it doesn't affect yield potential. Expected yield 72%. So not, not great. 72% that you know this is the kind of the the bad soil area so it's not going to be great 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 uh, oh just curious what is our score down here that was a that, that was a field we just bought not great uh, we've plowed these two so yeah we're, we're still kind of mm, I think I'm gonna that one's the weed control so see the weeds control number is down if we hit that we'll plant and if we hit this one with uh the spot sprayer um once that comes around we'll bump that we should be up close to 100 percent on that that'll be great we're just going to convert all of these fields <clears throat> to spot spraying i think we'll put sunflowers in so we don't have to plow 
hopefully we can kind of uh, swing that into the rotation yeah so that's the plan going forward and um, yeah so uh, yeah probably not a whole lot much else gonna go on until till March maybe uh, let's see here planting season earliest is yeah March I'm not gonna plant cotton so that's not gonna happen March is going to be when uh, we will see you again when we're going to uh, decide what we're going to plant and where. Uh, sunflowers, yeah, we're, we'll be good to go with sunflowers on all three of our south fields. All right, well, we will see you in March then. Well, it's March, and we're here at the oil plant. Oil seed, seed oil, seed natural oils uh, selling our sunflowers because well they're gonna pay us top dollar let's see what we get so exciting <laughs> what do we get what do we get Ooh, 267 plus a twenty two thousand dollar environmental score which should have been uh nope that one there we go 97 98 100 what's our total hmm, total environmental score is only 70 oh that's because we're 35 here that's pulling that's pulling us down actually unfortunately um oh and then that's that's really rude that uh, this is a field and it's pulling down my environmental score even though it's there's no crop on there and it's we're t it's totally being pooched because I'm using it as a farmyard. But oh well, if we pull these numbers up, we should be doing, get us into the 80s at least. Right, okay, well, I'm going to turn this guy around. Right round, baby, right round. Like a record, baby. <laughs> and then... We're gonna prep for planting season because it's March. So let's uh, see if we can risk sending this, uh, hiring a worker and sending them there. There we go. Let's go over here. Let's hop into, well, not to that, but there we go. Uh, drop that off. Let's pull up over here. We get to use our new planter. Right, so let's drop our draw bar. And we're going to need our fancy dancy little uh, weight here. But just not both of them because uh, there we go, just that one. And let's hook this up and get some corn in the... No, not corn. No, no, no. Sunflowers. That's what we're going to do. Sunflower. There we go. Uh, let's see if we have any uh, seed or fertilizer in our silo. Let's open up those tanks. This is, I think, pretty much the smallest one. Uh, do we have seed or fertilizer in there? I'm kind of thinking just solid fertilizer. Okay, no problem. That's why we paid the money for getting this guy here. There we go, seeds. That's a pretty good chunk of seeds. Um, oh, we do have fertilizer in a tank, though. Back here. Uh, let's see, will I be able to... Just back into there, maybe? Is my reversing skills sufficiently sufficient? No. Oh, it's not. Come on. Oh, come on. Hmm. Okay. It's not working. 
it's not working we'll have to pull it out so, all right let's jump in our tractor our other tractor our little Kubota been using it a little bit lately I know not a whole lot it's kind of a small tractor yes so we got liquid fertilizer here we should be able to uh, fill fill it from here there we go right oh very well okay let's get whoop, there we go who's blocked by what oh a stupid driver is blocked let's go fix him all right you big dummy all right let's get him parked here won't need him for a little while let's get this positioned correctly sunflowers set close our lids now let's see how far this tank will last let's get it opened up <clears throat> and we'll just uh, hit all these three fields we'll fire up that other uh, our other um, planter as well of course that's why we got two yeah this is the smallest of the of the case planters but that's okay it will be fine it's a fairly big sized field but uh, we got time it's early in the day let us go over here and get him started then we'll set up the other one we should mm. There we go. Red with red. Green with green, I think. I think we'll go get the John Deere and get it set up with our uh, John Deere planter. That would be that would be appropriate. This guy looks uh, this guy looks good pulling this. I like it. There we go. Let's set a worker. Looks like he's doing okay. Right. Everything looks to be working good. All right. Let's uh, the I know the old the old JD. No, not that one. There we go. This one. These uh, these guys won't be ready for a while to for for harvesting, so we'll be good there. Oh, we're back up to oh that the sunflowers gave us a good chunk of cash. I really should start thinking about uh, cow barn. But first, yes, that's what I that's what it was. Um, we need to start making TMR before I get the cow pen up and the cows in there so that's the next thing i need to go i need to go talk to the guys in town uh, the construction guys a little bit of talk around town which uh what what um i'm thinking of putting up kind of a, like a little production facility to make tmr so i'm gonna do a little bit more research on that before i i uh, want to i'm gonna build it uh here because this is where um, 
this is where I got the, the uh, silage production, so. Although. Yeah, limited room over in the north farm. I'm just trying to figure out. If I put the TMR production at the other farm, though. It's going to be right where the cows are, and I'm going to need the TMR close to where the cows are. I might have to... I might, I might, really might have to... Where did my other... Where did that go? I had two of them. Mm. Well, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I really got to figure out how that's going to work. Still a little bit scatterbrained on that. I'm not the best at planning. I'm not the best at planning out um, farm um, placement. To, oh, I have a drawbar on here. That's what's... There we go. Right. Come on, hook up. There we go. All right. Let's get this. Uh, let this get this fella hooked up here. Whoa, come on. Learn how to back up. There we go. All right. Uh, seeds. No, we do not want corn sunflowers. There we go. We're going to try to continue with the sunflowers uh, let's fill up our liquid furt there we go I should put a weight on the front it's a little bit heavy We got lots of weights here, so let's do that. Oh, let's grab the John Deere one. Ha ha ha. Oh. Let's get let's get this draw bar out of the way. Put it in my pile of draw bars. There we go. John Deere weight. John Deere planter. John Deere tractor. Alright. We're all good to go. All set for planting season. Start off the year right. Well, it's kind of into the year already, but the planting season year. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's get that down in position. Get that place down. Get that started up. There we go beauty all right so oh dear dear move out get out of the way get out of the way <laughs> right so um coming up next um i'm going to be uh, well whilst i'm planting i'm going to be looking into tmr factories and or tmr production and see uh, see if we can get something like that set up. So, um, yep, this guy is going to carry on. And um, let's check on this guy. How is he doing? How is our... Oh, the liquid fertilizer is going down fast. Right. All right, well, we should then... We're going to need, this guy's good to go. He's already hooked up, so we got liquid fertilizer here. We're going to need to be uh, servicing those, uh, that planter with, uh, with this for sure. And we'll probably have to get the seed cart too, so. But let's get this out there first. And uh, 
get our uh, fields planted and then we can concentrate on um, on our uh, feed situation right so we'll see you ooh, probably a little later probably well perhaps yeah well we'll see what happens but um, we'll be back in, um, in in short order I suspect well hello again <laughs> we're just finishing up and I don't know what that other worker is doing oh okay he's turning around he, he's been wandering a bit lately I'm not sure what's up with that but looks like he's doing okay right so we're just uh, finishing up uh, let me look after this guy he's going to be like what do I do now <laughs> Uh, we will let well you know what we're here so let's uh, we only got hundred well 12 10 liters of there we've we've drained our fertilizer tank we have built a uh, TMR station over by the north farm so let's go have a look at it I'm gonna go park. Um, we're done. We're done seeding sunflowers. Sunflowers all round. Good to go. That's gonna be, yeah. Freshly planted. It's gonna be like that. Well, yeah. It's gonna take a while to grow. So that'll be in fall for sure. Let's park this up over here and drop that. And uh, well, we gotta go bring this fellow back. I do believe I could use another tractor up by the North Farm. All the tractors are down here. We'll take a zip over there. <clears throat> so I went with a um, kind of like an all round one. It's uh, has quite a few options for the uh, factory there's the uh, Omatana factory or the Omatana construction company in town and they offered me a pretty good deal on um, on a uh, on a little production facility that will fit on my farm up here we can see it kind of like that old-school red barn look to it We'll go check it out in a second here. Once we get up here, <clears throat> we'll have a quick look at it. And um, as it happens, they have linked it to my silo as a bonus, as a little bonus. So all the product in my silo is actually trans uh, is is also shared by the uh, by the factory as it happens. So or production facilities, shall we say? It's not really a factory, I guess. Right, okay. And here she is. It's uh, going to need a... Well, we're going to need to do a little bit of uh, landscaping. They, they When they just... They leveled everything and just blunk. So, it's a bit awkward here. It's sort of... Yeah. Um, input. Output. If we take a look at our uh, production facility. Farm supply production. Red. There it is. Uh, we can actually make hay, grass, turn grass into hay. Uh, we have three options for TMR, uh, hay, uh, silage, and straw, or uh, hay and silage only. And then we have uh, hay, silage, straw, and uh, mineral feed, which I don't think I'm going to go for. I don't, I'd, I'd have to buy mineral feed, really. I can make it, but why make it if I don't need to use it? Um, <laughs> and it's going to use up um, soybean, which is going to cost money. We can also make silage, actually. Might as well turn the straw silage on. Uh, we have, we should have everything. We got a little bit of hay in there. We don't have the silage yet. Okay. 
Uh, we can also make our own seeds if we want. Um, we don't have any seeds in there yet. That would be, that's actually kind of a good idea. Um, we'll have to get some, put some seeds in there. And uh, we can also make uh, solid or liquid fertilizer from digestate, which not going to happen. And we already have a lime production facility, so which is a much better ratio than that. So the seed production is uh, good. I like that. Direct to seed production. And our straw to silage is excellent. Um, and the TMR with the... Uh, those three looks like a good ratio. I got lots of straw. So that is that. And uh, yes, so we're going to do a little bit of fixing around here a little bit. And that's about it for this. Uh, that's pretty much, we're pretty much done. Um, except for, um, yep, yeah, just uh, looking after the sheep. Uh, let's see, selling the wool. Oops, passed it here. Uh, wool, 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 wool. And yeah, next month, next month we can uh, unload all our wool. That should give us a few bucks. I have a few, few thousand liters here for sure. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Uh, and thanks for coming to visit. Uh, here on uh, Uncle Tom's farm out in Saska Butch No Man's Land. I'm Looney Farm Guy. And remember, well, it's only a game. <laughs> so till next time, bye for now.